Hey guys, long time no see. I hope you all are doing so well. I am much better. I needed a little bit of a break because I was still feeling like upset with myself and I didn't want that to come off in my videos. I needed to do some traveling, do some reading, praying, and um, really just kind of like figuring out what I want in life, what my passions are, you know, what do I value? I realized that I was looking for happiness in other people and not just within myself. So I'm really happy to say that I am in a great place again. I feel like my old self and uh, it's just good to be back. I did read this book. It's also kind of like a journal and that really helped me out. I think I mentioned it in one of my old videos, but it's called Single Is Your Superpower by Case Kenny. And definitely recommend this book if you feel like you are dating or you know maybe you're even in a relationship that doesn't feel right and you're not sure if it's you or if it's them or if you're just like not sure what you want uh, pick up this journal this is not like a paid promotion or anything it's just something that really helped me you know, self-reflect on um, my purpose for dating and what my values are and what I deserve. So through the process of completing this book slash journal, I was able to like really look back at past relationships and recognize why it was a struggle, why it failed, and see that I was settling in a lot of areas that, you know, wasn't what I really wanted and wasn't what was best for me. So I chose to focus all my attention on career. I looked into the police academy. I actually did the physical exam. Uh, that was pretty fun where you jump over hurdles. You know, you're getting in the cop car, getting out, going in the trunk, getting a gun out and pulling a 150 pound dummy across the grass. Uh, so that was fun. I ended up, you know, not going that route. I also looked up a lot of, you know, master's degree programs and, you know, tried to think about what uh, I could go back to school for. While I was tossing around all these ideas, something great happened. I got to take a break from that and go to my annual training, which is two weeks a year for the Navy Reserves. I went to Fort Bragg in North Carolina and just that time away, like just getting out of town to travel, meet new people, explore new things. Sometimes you need to just kind of get away uh, to realize that the world is so much bigger than you know your problems at home. You know, I'd be running on base and I found some tires to flip. My brother and his wife and kids moved out there a year ago. They're about an hour uh, north of Fort Bragg. So I was able to visit them, which was awesome. And when I got back home, it's like I felt brand new again. Like I felt like my old self, but an even better version of that where um, my heart was like at peace and I could feel that God was like, I have a plan for you. Just be patient, it's coming. Um, and this is the first part of it is you just feeling better again. And then shortly after my return, I got a phone call from the Navy, the building that I do my reserve uh, weekends at. So they called and offered me an opportunity to go back active duty. And I was like, hmm, like it was tempting, but I was a little bit scared. But they reassured me that this particular position would not be deployed on a ship. Uh, you know, obviously there's still always a chance, but it's such a low chance. So only downside is that I will have to continuously move. Like every three to four years, I'll get new orders to go somewhere else. So I am back active duty. Already put in the two weeks notice at my uh, dental assisting job and completed that. And so now uh, this coming week, I'm gonna be off all week before I start full time with the Navy. Just working um, in my hometown here and they say it takes, you know, six months, eight months, sometimes even a year uh, to actually get orders to go somewhere else. So I guess, you know, the whole process of the paperwork and everything. Uh, so I'll still be here for a while, um, but I just wanted to give you guys that great news. I'm, I'm really excited to not have to, you know, think about my career anymore, like where what I'm gonna do and, 
if I'm gonna be financially stable and what benefits I'll have and all that stuff like I know that I will be happy in this career that I will feel fulfilled and purposeful and um, and proud you know of what I'm doing so uh, yeah that's the big news all right so before I go I want to give you guys some quick meal prep ideas I cooked today and filmed it and uh, if you are you know kind of falling off the wagon and you're ready to start again on Monday tomorrow uh, hopefully these meals will give you some ideas to get you started I hope you enjoyed that meal prep, got some good ideas. Obviously you can mix and match uh, those things I made or add some sauce or some different veggies. Since I have the whole week off and I do owe you guys quite a few videos, I'm going to do a, you know, what I eat in a day slash like day in the life type videos this week, like one every day. If you're out there and you've fallen off your diet or your workout routine like I have many times because life throws some curveballs. I get it. Uh, so hopefully these daily videos can help re-motivate you to get back on track. Big shout out to Sharla for all the beautiful, amazing, thoughtful gifts that you sent me. Uh, you really spoiled me with all these things. Uh, thank you so much. And a shout out to Lisa uh, for the books that you sent. Those are great. Uh, you guys are amazing. And thank you for all your continued support. Thank you for watching this and I will see you guys tomorrow.